from the Wausau Curling Club, one of the best in North America. It is the Wisconsin High School Curling Championships. Boys and girls, 32 teams involved, 16 of each. And we are in the end of the third match for the girls in their pool. Wausau West and Wapaka taking on each other with Will Rainey, a junior at D.C. Everest, who's going to help out with the strategy and commentary for this one. And welcome, Will. Thank there you. you can see the action now as we're starting out uh, looking at the end of number two. So we're going to go into end three. It's 4 nothing after the first. They haven't posted the score on the second end yet, but it's 4 nothing West. West will be in the red. And... Uh, Wapaka will have the yellow rocks, and they're on sheet two out of eight as you take a look at things down on the ice. And you look at the 48 advertisement, it's on the side, and then on the end is the Greenheck Foundation rink advertisement. And here we go. For Wapaka, they have their coach is Missy Barker, um, um, Amanda Bronk. Their lead is Ireland Greenlay. Second is Sarah Shambo. Third is Chloe Eller. And their skip is Justine Penzenhagen. And she told me that personally, so I think I got that one right, right. as I talked to them before. The coach for Wausau West, Jim Wendling. The lead, Athea Hintz. Second is Kylie Rennes, their third is Allie Bushman, and Celeste Taylor is their skip. And it would appear right now that we are winding down the second end based on what we see on the scoreboard. So we can pick this thing up well as we go along, taking a look at who's going to be throwing the rock next so we have our place in line. Yes, Wapaka will be definitely throwing the rocks next because Wes did take the lead, I believe by three. But we'll check the scoreboard just to make sure. Yeah. The follow. third is also responsible for the scoreboard. Yep. Mm -hmm. The third is also responsible if there's a, a measurement. Yeah. We'll get the measuring stick out there. So they have those responsibility. The skip is responsible for everything. Yeah. <laughs> Especially, and when it's just a game, the, the third is also responsible for flipping the coin to see who has okay. hammer and who throws the shot last. So they get a lot of flack for that if we have to throw first. Yeah. Well, there's a big difference between the hammer and throwing first. There is. There's a big advantage with hammer usually. Okay. Things are quiet down there now. There's Wausau West's. Let's see if I can pick them up as we go along here. Taylor's the skip, her back to the camera. The ice does appear to be fast. It was fast earlier when I was playing. Yeah, well, it was fast in that last game mm -hmm. that I did yes. in East and West, and that caused some problems. It does, it, it really throws you off. And especially yesterday, the ice was normal to a little bit slower even, so now that it's picking up after the big scrape, Athlea and uh, Kylie for West. This is the lead for Wapaka. Ireland Greenlee with Sarah Shambo and Chloe Eller. That rock looks like it is going to cruise. It's almost through. like it picks up speed after the hog line. Yeah, it does appear that way, doesn't it? Now, West had the first toss from their lead. Athelia hints, and she's in the house in a good spot. Let's see if they set up a guard. How about strategy right now, Will? Strategy, well, right now they're going to guard it because it is touching the button, so they do want to protect that. So I believe they're going to throw an upper guard touching, even touching the red would be okay, touching the top 12. Okay, we're back at with the lead. They have to throw guards and be a good sweeper, of course. Of course. A perfect stone is swept 25% of the way. 
Didn't see a lot of that in that last game we did. Mm -mm. Nope. And if they keep sweeping. That's going to go someplace, too. Yeah. No, it looks, nope, that, no it's that, going to be fine. That is fine. That works. That yeah. does work. That's a nice guard. Mm -hmm. Two in the house. Happy. Smile. Yes. Now for Wapaka, we go back to the second for Arlen Greenley, their lead. Their skip, Justine Penzenhagen. And we do see that West did score three in the second end. Oh, no, wow. 7 0 West. We could be done soon on this soon. one. And there, that one was thrown very light. I'd be surprised if that crosses the hog. I don't think it will. Yeah, they're just kind of letting it sit. Yeah. It says it did not cross that hog, that big black line. They do have to remove it out of play. Mm -hmm. This is this is in danger of being. When when do they cut it off? When it's mathematical early on, or can they shake hands and? You can shake whenever you'd like. You can shake. It doesn't matter, but when it's mathematically eliminated, it is generally courteous to shake because otherwise it's just a waste of time, yeah. really, for the time that they can be cleaning the ice. Mm -hmm. All right, here we go. West will have three in the house. And a guard for two. And the four and the button. Mm -hmm. So couldn't ask for more. Yeah, that that is good. Walpaca coming in. They lost their two in the round robin. Uh, West is one and one. It could be a shootout, depending upon what Portage does and the mm -hmm. situation there, of course. I haven't seen a shootout on the ice so far, but I'm sure there's been one or two. Mm -hmm. And what she called for was hack weight, so the rock ideally would stop at the hack, so it would go past the house. So it was definitely a takeout, but that does not appear to be takeout weight. Well, it's picking up a little speed. It, you can tell they're struggling with the ice here a little bit. They are. Okay, Celeste Taylor goes over and helps mm -hmm. get rid of it, which is okay once they're past the T line. I'm going to let you do the math on this as we go along because, you know, if they do something in N3 here, it could be a short one. It could. I mean, you still could get eight rocks in each end, but the odds of that happening well, are slim to none. Well, there's one picture out in the lobby <laughs> area of a West team with eight rocks. Yes, there is. It's been done before, but... And they placed a nice guard there. Yeah, they're they setting do. it up beautifully. They are. They are making their shots. Okay, this is Shambo. Her second rock. Well, Paca does have the hammer. And that can always mean something. But when you're down seven nothing after two ends. Yeah, it's, it's looking a little dull. And curious where their weight is. Their weight seems a little off from what they may like. Well. No, nope, they're not, yeah. not in the house. That was not it. When you look at the, the setup here for these seeds, Will, do you have an idea of how that works? I mean, they've got what they call pools. The boys, 16 teams, four pools. The girls, 16 teams, four pools. I can't say how they set it up, but I'm sure they went off of, you know, scores from our games and not so much TG, because TG is a bond spiel and that right. is unrelated to high school. Right. But. I believe they just went off the scores of their games and who won what. 
So and one loss record and maybe a little bit of the competition. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Yeah, the TG's the biggest in the country, the Invitational. It is. Like 64 it teams. Is, it has been running for a very long time. Yeah, I, I did the TG before, and that that's quite the event. It is. It, there are, you know, hundreds of people running around this club at a time. It is, it is almost chaotic. <laughs> how it, yeah, how it, it can be. <laughs> well, you can see here the bleachers are full. Mm-hmm. And folks around us, we're at we're in the comfort zone here. We're yeah. on the main floor, um, and everything we take in here, you can see from here, she too a little bit. Mm -hmm. It is on the opposite side. Yeah. Well, they've got weight on this one. We'll see where it goes. They're going to try and get one of their own in, but they're going to sweep it too hard, and they're it's going to go all the way off. Out. So right now, West has four. Count. Yes, West does right. have four. One's, one's uh, white enough. And it's behind some guards, so it's not the situation to be in. But nope. Nope. Now we go to um, Kylie. Rennes. I think that should be Rennie, actually. Celeste Taylor, they're operating with all kinds of confidence right now. Right? Allie Bushman. Throwing yeah, this is Allie. This is Rennie's on the walk with the broom. Her and Athelia. Not a lot of sweeping needed. No. Again, just I think they're just trying to guard it up, just yep. protecting mm -hmm. what they have. Mm -hmm. Well, they've got all areas covered. They've got sides, lateral. Mm -hmm. They've got front, couple. And they're going to try to take, and I'm not quite sure the weight they call, but I'm sure it has to. It has to be plenty. It has to be more than what they've been giving for sure for this well, they, They've got all kinds of take possibilities. They just have to get through that little port. Mm -hmm. And they've got speed. And they've got weight. They're it's hard to call. Some, they're going to cause cause some concern here. Mm. But the problem is they don't stay on themselves. They they take one away, but they still have three count for mm -hmm. West. Yeah, they still have three count. Not much better of a situation. No. This is Alley, I think, now with her second. Oh, I believe it is the skip. Yeah, this will be the skip star. Okay, so Celeste is out there. Yep, there she comes. Allie picks up the room. I think. I believe there's a vice home. skip. This is Wapaka right now. So the next for West. The Wapaka skip, Justine Penzenhagen. Is over on the left side with a teammate. Bushman is the vice skip there, and this is Celeste Taylor. West skip. They're working a little bit. They are. There you can see a good view of the spectators and the bleachers and the glass all the way, wall to wall, all the way across. I find calling them bleachers is a little, it's a little hard to say bleachers. They're more like theater seats in the yeah. Wasa Curling Club. Right, exactly. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Well, another guard out in front. Protecting that port mm -hmm. rather well. Ellie and Celeste, fist pump, a variety of it. I think they're happy with the situation. Oh, well, there. they should be. Mm -hmm. They are up seven to nothing. We're in N3. 
And they're just kind of walking away with this one. This, this is the first time in this tournament I've seen something like this score, really. Mm -hmm. I'm sure there have been a couple over, you know, overall, but they're doing rather well. I, and I believe what they're going to do is do a heavy takeout weight um, through that port and try and just, just try and see what happens. It's all yeah, up to Yeah, that's exactly right. Well, Justine, there's Skip now heading down. You can see her coming in the direction of the camera. It's all up to physics at that point. <laughs> Yeah. It really is. Yeah. yeah. Curling is a, a great sport for any age. And you know, the high school age, it's a, a great for that age group because there are no refs. There are no officials. You know, on the coaches are up here with us. Mm -hmm. There's one time out for the team and one time out for the coach in a match. Uh, it's a growth experience uh, for, yes. the, the, for the teenagers. Uh, in every respect, leadership, cooperation, team it play. Is. It is 110% on the team. At, when they're on the ice, it's it's their shots to make. It's their their responsibility. No one's telling them what to do every single second no, of the way. No, right, no coaches walk on the sideline yelling at them. Mm -hmm. They're calling the play. They, they should run. This seems to have a little bit more weight. Now yeah. sweeping for line. Yeah. They're going for it right now. Oh, hit that guard. Well, that didn't quite go where they wanted it either. Having, having a high guard is, you know, that was good for the situation because then what happens is it splits it up right early, you know, doesn't mm -hmm. interfere with the rocks right. in the house. That was an ideal guard for them. Okay. Here comes Celeste. Calling the same shot, trying to set up exactly what they had before. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is N3, and West is already up 7 zip. They're playing a very strong defensive game at this point. Well, if West wins this one and Portage loses, they may get into the finals. If not, it's Portage that moves on. They're 2-0. Oh. And that looks like it yes. serves its purpose. That, that works. Yeah, serves its purpose. Shot made. Well, every shot now for Wapaka, you know, we're getting down to the end of three. They, they've they got to do something. They do. They have to make something happen. Oh, you can see their blank stares onto oh. the, the house. <laughs> yeah, it's like, okay. <laughs> yeah. All right. Are they, they must be drawing, I would assume. Yeah. Chloe Eller, their third down is the vice skip. She's setting the strategy and Justine knows the challenge ahead of her mm -hmm. just by the look on her face. Oh yeah. <laughs> what do I do? <laughs> well, there are, what is it? Three point or three count on the house right now mm -hmm. for West. And this is the last shot in N3. Yeah, it is. I think they're just trying to lower their score. Yeah, well, do something. Make something happen in there. Make something. Make they something could better. actually get one if she does a draw perfectly, but they can't come up short. You gotta make something happen in there. Oh, it, it is light. It, it is, is light. light, yeah, it is. Very light. It's not gonna do anything. No. Oh, okay, no. that's it. Three more. Three red, three for West. 
So now it's 10 nothing as we head to the fourth end. So mathematically, yeah, you get eight ends, you still have five left. Mm -hmm. If you'd get a couple here, a couple there, maybe yeah. get a break in there, it's possible. So they'll play on, I think. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised to see West not changing its strategy because it seems to be working right about now. Well, they, what they, yeah, they, they've, their lead and their second have set it up for them very, very well. Mm hmm it's all about it's about that first end. I think they're often overlooked, but yeah. you need to have a good setup right. in order for your Thor and Skip to, you know, make their shots. There's Jim Wanlin talking to the girls. He's their coach. He's got a grin on his face. Well, yeah. <laughs> this is probably the most relaxing time all he's had in a while. Yes. <laughs> Surrounded by four girls who are up ten nothing after three ends. There's a Wapaka coach. Pretty somber. Very, yeah. You know, they came in 0-2. This is their end of their day or days, and they know it. And they came in here, and I don't know how they did as far as competition in the first two, but they lost them. Mm -hmm. uh, learning experience for that HQ bet. Well, they handle it. Yeah, Celeste and uh, Allie. <laughs> What are they going to decide? And there's the, well, they're smiling now too, but. Mm -hmm. It's important to remember to have fun, no matter well, what absolutely. the situation. Well, absolutely. And curling of all games is social. Mm -hmm. I mean, it is. It, it's, uh, it's a culture. <laughs> it really is. Separate culture, curling. If they're not having a good time, it's just, it's a failure just not to do well. It, yeah, it, yeah. It, and sometimes you're more heartbreaking if you lose close mm -hmm. than the last rock, which happens to well, all of them somewhere along the line. Or something like this. Mm -hmm. yeah. Just, it's important for right now, Wapaka, just to take a deep breath, relax. Oh, well, okay, they're loosening up. Yeah. <laughs> what they need to do. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yep. We'll get all the shakes out. <laughs> we'll curl on here. Mm -hmm. Well, obviously, well, Paca has the hammer. So it's going to be. Thea hints the lead for West. Took a little longer than normal with that timeout. Now, the timeout in between, that can be the coach's call, right? Yes. Yeah. During play now, it's the player's call. Yep, it is. And that's usually used for, you know, if they're making a trick shot, what to do. But normally, the coach, it's usually. Just leaves them alone. Yep, it's usually what they think. This is the first shot now for West. A nice center guard. Yeah, and four. Beautifully done. What the lead should do. There are the two skips are getting acquainted. Yes. Isn't that nice? It is very nice, yes. Showing the social aspect of the sport. Yeah, probably certainly. talking about they both ma uh, hate math or something. Who knows? Yeah. <laughs> I shouldn't say that. I was a math teacher. <laughs> <laughs> but just camaraderie. Just knowing. I think they understand each other's situation, too. Mm. They've been there, maybe. And, yeah. You know. They have things in common. Well, they got it across the hag. 
Skip oh. Justine really sweeping well. You can see her face get red there, you know, yeah, out of breath. Yeah, yeah. Well. They got what they wanted. Yeah, they exactly. Did. Yeah. Okay, what's up for Celeste? There we go. That's it, yeah. Hints their lead. Walking along, Kylie ready. Trying to figure Allie out Bushman. the speed of the rock, most certainly there. And the way we determine speed, instead of looking at the rock, look at to see how fast they're walking. It's a lot easier to tell how fast that rock is moving. Yeah. Well, they've got one in the house now. Draw right behind the two guards. Mm -hmm. This is Ireland Greenley. Greenley. They want to make sure they get to the house. Mm -hmm. They need a rock in the house. They need a rock in the house. And they're going to do a tap. Go on. Go. Yeah. It's just a matter of, you know, there's so many factors in, in a shot like that, mm. for example. You know, speed, yeah. weight. I think line was their line biggest issue Line was there. a problem there. Angle. Mm. I don't believe she had her shoulders lined up to the broom, maybe as far out as she should have, because she was most certainly narrow, yeah. sticking to that center line. Yeah. This is Kylie Rennie. Asking for some help from the skip as they walk along. Got to see where it ends up. Mm. Make sure it doesn't sail because they've been seen to, they are going to bump. Yeah. Bump it behind the guards. That's a good spot for a run. Yeah. To be. Yep. They'll take that. And they've got two count. Barely, but two count. Mm -hmm. So this, at least this end is a little bit more interesting. Mm -hmm. You can see Wapaka taking more of an interest. Right, sure. yeah. Yeah, I think in the last end, after the, being shocked down 7 nothing, Wapaka in that third end, they really didn't compete. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Her release is wide, isn't it? It is. You can tell the rock should be under you at all times. Yeah, and she's and got it off. She is it off to the side. The rock was moving in a different direction than where she was. Yeah. And you can see they're sweeping because it was narrow. Yeah. Yeah, I, I noticed her elbow wasn't You want in. it held right under you. Yeah. And it was more pointed out. The slider foot, you know, right pretty mm -hmm. close to the slider foot. It should be. Mm-hmm. Especially when you're throwing heavier weight, that's when I tend to, you know, to do what sure. she did. Maybe not to quite such an extent, but it, it happens. It, it, there's no doubt about it. Here's Kylie's second toss. Good communication. Yeah, Allie, Great communication. Yeah, Allie's... They're saying, hey, this is this is what's going to happen, and that's exactly what they need. And look at how close that made it. Mm -hmm. That is. And Talk about making shots. Yes. That. Too close, I think, for the skip's comfort, but it, yeah. it turned out. It turned yeah. out. Yeah. That's what matters. Yeah. Okay, now we're back to Wapaka, and we go to... Last shot for Sarah Shambo. The form looked better that time. A little bit, yeah. A little bit indeed. Well, they're going to try to. Still a little oh. bit narrow. Yeah, yeah. Just a few inches. Okay. Celeste and Allie have already talked it over. Mm -hmm. We go to Allie. 
Allie Bushman for her first shot. You go on the cafeteria here, Will, and they have feeds for the curlers and, mm -hmm. you know, non-curlers, little mm -hmm. donation, but good food and certainly camaraderie, you know, and you see teams, competing teams playing euchre, <laughs> uh, cards, whatever, oh, yeah. and just talking. Uh, it's it's like almost a big, big, big family. It is. It is. And it is customary after a game to eat with your, your you know, your opposing team. Mm -hmm. So it's very good, you know. Yeah. It's a good Whether you gesture. won or lost, it's... Right. It's so you can good. move on. Yes, Makes exactly. you move on faster. Exactly. Well, let's see what Packer now and see what they do with the Yellow Rock. They need to do something. They need a rock in the house. Need a rock in the house. They know it, it was narrow. Yeah. Yep. Trying to bump up, but it's it's not. Not. You're not in the best of shape when you've got three guards for the other team, or four guards for the that, other team in the house. It's a good signal that it's not <laughs> it's not the best of times for Wapaka. That's no, for sure. No. Well, we've got eight sheets all in action right now. Four boys games going on and four girls. Beyond this is you had to earn it to get into the mm -hmm. semifinals and the finals. You had to win, win six to win it, the championship, starting with 16 teams. And what they're going to do is they're going to tap back, but that's okay because that stone that Ali Bushman just threw created a nice guard for the two. What do you think? They've got six, every one of their rocks, except one, in the house. Six of them. Well, Packer. Packer needs one in the house. Yeah, <laughs> well, take some away somehow in the house, mm -hmm. yeah. There we go. That was, that was good form. That was, yeah, that was and that... That had a little more weight to it off the release. Mm -hmm. You could tell maybe it'll do something. And it needs to curl. That's what does that's what the sweeps are signaling for. Yeah. But it's gonna go all the way through the house. Right through. Oh my gosh. How can they the the port there you had to be better it, to make that <laughs> through <You know>. that <laughs> without touching any stones. Wow. It's got to be disheartening. West has six stones. They're up ten to nothing. At this point, six they're count. off the board. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they're right. Fifteen. The board goes to fifteen. Yeah. Right. At that point, I would shake. If you're off I, the board, I was just going to say, point, time for a shake. It's time for a shake. Yeah. 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 Shake when you know that they are the better curlers. When you know that they are, that's that's when it's time. Yeah. Okay. Celeste with Ali Bushman. Strategy. Simple. <laughs> mm -hmm. Keep doing what they're doing because it is working. And that is no doubt. Yeah. We can see there. Well, the Mosini boys and Portage 2 boys leaving the, the ring. Mm -hmm. Well, this is the first rock for Celeste Taylor. She's just going to help their cause and put seven in there now. Seven rocks. We don't want eight, do we, really? I don't know. I don't know at this point. I mean, this is over. Unless they've got the hammer, she does something. I mean, you can put somebody on the button right now, or close. 
and close. take three or four away. They have a lot back in the button, though. There's, oh, there's yeah. too much congestion, I think, yeah. for that to even be possible. Yeah. Well, Justine Panzenberger. She's coming down to throw her first rock. They're between a rock and a hard place <laughs> right now. <laughs> wow. I know. Yeah, they're just shaking their head. They're just not in a situation that they want to be oh, in at no. all. No, 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 no. 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 There you can see the scoreboard. It's all red. And they're up by 10. You see the first in. Four points, second in, four to seven for three. Third in, four points, seven to ten. They're looking right now at seven count, believe it or not. We'll see, we'll see what Skip Justine does here. Number one, she's got to reach the house with some something. Speed seems okay, but not enough. No. Very narrow. No, no, no. Not, there's so many stones clogged up, you really need some weight on that stone. Just let it go. I mean, she's got some, but it's going to hit her own. Hit her own guards and push it in a little bit further, but out. Well, now we've got still. What they could do is with that stone, the red stone that was just moved in on the line between the red and white circles, uh -huh. what they could do is do a hit and roll. But we'll see if yeah, what they think West about. puts a guard right in front, then that's not quite so possible anymore. This isn't a good picture for Wapaka. No. They could do a hit and roll on that stone, but that requires quite some accuracy and weight, which. Okay. Allie and Celeste, third and skip, talk it over. Celeste turned for her second rock. Last rock for West. I almost wonder, are they thinking, you know, we could do all eight? Should we try? Should we? I think I think they might. That would be a... Well, it's not going to happen that often. No, it, it's a once-in-a-lifetime thing almost. Just I don't think they're too concerned about no, keeping all those rocks in no. the house. Justine Penzenberger, or not Penzenberger, Penzenhagen, Pardon, is going to have the last rock or the last say. That appears. Well, they're going to for be a, a guard. A guard, yeah, looks like it. Based on the weight of the rock. Mm -hmm. It might. I see their smile on their faces. They might. It, you know what? Oh, they're going for it. They're, they're going trying for trying all eight. Ooh, could it be swept out? No. I don't think they're even going to try. Nope. There you are. Take a look. Eight stones in the house. Take a look. Look now, folks, because you won't see that too often. No. No. Now, for Justine Penzenhagen, their skip for Opaka, let it go. Anything but come up short. Mm. Anything but come up short. Just peel, which is the heaviest weight you can do. I yeah. just, just put it right in the middle of the mess. Quite peel, but yeah, they're talking about it. Which side to come in on? Because mm -hmm. that guard there, you know, even if they hit their own guard, it'll hit something if they hit it hard enough. Yeah, that's what they're talking about. Which side of the of their yellow? Okay, here we go. Our teammates are wishing her luck. <laughs> they all know the situation. They do. They're getting ready to sweep. They know unless she does something, it's over. Mm -hmm. <laughs> She's looking at it like, no. where did this, why did this happen to us? Oh, 
it, I don't think they're going to try very hard based on the looks of no. Justine. No, no. No, you can see her shaking her head. Yeah, just let it go. Hard enough to do something. I'm not even sure she did that. Yeah. Seems a little narrow to me. Yeah, I, I don't think they're going to even. Oh, it's narrow. Yeah, it's not going to. They're trying to bump. Well. Oh. Okay, they got five. Right? Um, let me or count. I think they get all. All eight. Yeah. All eight. They get all eight. They get all eight. Wow. West, eight. 18 to null. It's time for handshakes. Oh, look, they're, they're so happy. They're in tears almost. They're, yes. And now looking at their, they, they want, want a picture. picture. <laughs> they want a picture. They're not going to take the rocks off until they get that picture as they shake hands with the Wapaka girls. You know, it's it's just, you don't see this. No, you don't. This is old. The, the Wapaka girls, you know, they could take a broom and sweep off some of those stones right now if they wanted to. You know, no, they're going to let them take their picture. Unbelievable. We've seen something here. You don't, well, see, now there's the Portage coach going to take their picture. Oh, there's the Portage coach. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. He's involved with everything here. Portage when they come. There it is. We got to take this back up the camera, monitor. There you go. All eight. This picture will be up in the lobby or something. Oh, I'm sure you know, it will it's be. It's Wassa West, you know, after all. Yeah, look at that. Well, they shook hands. This one's history. In four ends, the final score is Wassa West 18, Wapaka 0. Now, it remains to be seen, depending upon what Portage does, whether or not West girls will make it into the championship bracket. For Will Brainy, we thank you much for helping out here in this one. Of course. I'm George Hirsch. And that's it from the Curling Club until next time. Good.